the fallout now uh, with Phil Wegman, the uh, White House reporter for Real Clear Politics. Phil, they're going to start arguing over semantics pretty soon, but if I remember correctly, I was just looking it up now. Uh, Barr did not say the president got a pass on this. Uh, he did say on collusion uh, he was exonerated, but on this it was open-ended. So I don't know where the heated debate is there, but what do you think? That's absolutely right. And I think what's so interesting is that it's important for us to remember that this is a 400 page report. And so I would be very skeptical of any pundit who says X or any politician who says Y definitively. This is a, a large report. There's a lot of information there and it's going to take some time to go through it. But what we know right now is that it seems that the attorney general in his initial summary uh, was accurate, that he did reflect and correctly summarize that report, that there was no collusion. And that's that's a huge win for the president, and I think that we're going to see a lot of victory laps from the White House in the days to come on that front. Do you think there's any lasting damage, personal, I should say, not as a criminal, from uh, these stories that they're digging up again that the president was apoplectic uh, when a special counsel was, was chosen to get in and to look into this, the Mueller point in the first place, uh, and he used the F word and what have you? Um, uh, that wouldn't surprise me, but we're seeing a lot of that and what White House aides. You know, uh, talking to Mueller's folks, whether they lied or not, or whether they misrepresented themselves, but that's the extent of it. So, in other words, just a death by a thousand cuts, you know, and, and a thousand aides and a thousand people who might have gone to, to Mueller's folks and talk. And that's what this comes down to a, a lot of embarrassing stuff that just gets dragged on for months and months. If it's going to be death by a thousand cuts, I don't think that we've seen a lot of blood so far. There have been a lot of embarrassing stories, but I don't think that those have necessarily caused the president's poll numbers to drop when it comes to uh, the Russia investigation. At this point, I think that the White House strategy is going to be to call it a day now that there's no evidence of collusion. But what I think is really interesting here is that uh, if you look at the report uh, on the obstruction of justice front, obviously Nadler and others are going to try and make a lot of hay uh, on that issue issue, but it seems that the president was really saved by a disobedient staff. Uh, for instance, Don McGahn never followed through to tell Rosenstein right. to dismiss the special counsel, and Jeff Sessions never followed through to limit the investigation to future uh, electoral meddling by the Russians. So it seems that uh, the president surrounded himself with, you know, in his words, the best people, and they kept him from perhaps some of his worst inclinations. Could you imagine if McGahn had done that and, and, and gotten rid of Mueller. I mean, you talk a Senate lot massacre. Um, that would that would be a disaster. Certainly, certainly. And I, what is was interesting here, and I think that we're going to see, is Democrats are really going to zero in, and, and they're doing it already. You saw with some of the comments from Capitol Hill just a second ago, they are going to focus on the disparities between what Barr said this morning, exactly. that you know the president cooperated fully by turning over documents, and then what's actually in the report where Mueller says that the president actually worked to curtail the investigation. But honestly, uh, you know, when I talk to voters in Iowa, when I've been out there, you know, in Indiana and West Virginia, even in this last electoral cycle, I don't think voters are necessarily that interested at this point. I think that they are ready to say yeah, we'll there's see. no collusion, obstruction, that's another issue. And um, I think that this is going to take a, a lesser priority moving forward. Well, we just have to go back in history. He might have wanted to get rid of Mueller. He didn't. He, he might have had some ideas about shutting down the whole investigation. He couldn't. None of that happened. So you have to, you're left with what happened. Um, we'll, we'll watch it closely. Thank you, my friend. Good seeing you. Thank you, sir.